There is a certain woven pattern that has been an all-time favorite. Proof of that is that I've made it 13 times. I'd actually made it 11 times until yesterday and now I have two more. They're all different, all types of woven fabrics. Let's have a peek and a closer look at the new ones I made with Rayon. Hi sewing friends, I'm Karina from liftingpinsandneedles.com. Welcome to this channel that is all about sewing, limitless sewing. Today I have a fun show and tell video for you. It's a bit of a roundup type of video and I thought it was worth making it because I've actually made 13 cadence tops and dresses. This is an older pattern from Love Notions. It's been re-updated and re-released to improve the size range and also add the full bust. The main features are still there. The original fit is still there. It's just been tweaked and improved. In the past, I've always been sewing the standard bust version. So the fact that there's a full bust version, he doesn't make that much of a difference for me. So in my case, I think the feet would be equivalent to the older version. For this time, I've made two extra ones and I've added features that I hadn't sewn before with all of my other previous 11 cadence makes. <laughs> There are so many options in this pattern. It's got a scoop neckline. You can make it round like this one. This is one of them, by the way. Or you can add a little notch, like a tiny, tiny V. It's finished with a facing inside. You can make it sleeveless. You can put a short sleeve. And then there's three quarter length sleeves and they can be made in different ways. One is like a bishop sleeve. The other one is a three quarter length sleeve, but made of an elbow length sleeve plus a flounce right there. And then you have the long bishop sleeve. So tons of sleeve options. You can make it shirt length, knee length dress or maxi. They are semi loose at the waist and hips because they are A-line and a shift style dress. Or top, they're not tight, but they will be nicely fitted up here on the top with the bust that. There's a center back seam for shaping, which is always appreciated. I love that. Because the cadence has been re-released and updated, it is $5 today for Feature Friday. And then Saturday and Sunday will also be discounted. I'll leave all the information down below. And also today is the last day of the huge site-wide sale. All the patterns are 40% off except for the aria and the course because that was released recently so have a look if you still haven't gotten your favorites love notion doesn't do these huge sales very often probably just twice a year so it's a good time to get patterns i'll leave my affiliate link down below as always if you'd like to purchase through there i get a little commission and that supports the work that i do here and it's been designed for woven fabrics i've made some in rayon twill 100 percent rayon lightweight i've made some in textured rayon i've made some in crepe more structured fabrics I've made some with 100% cotton broidery and glaze or eyelet embroidered type of fabric I've made several of those so you can have a lot of fun using a lot of different types of woven fabrics you can choose the more structured ones if you when you are to sewing it'll be much easier to work with and if you want a little bit more fun and you have a bit more time and patience go ahead and get your rayons now remember i've made two videos recently all about rayon the previous video was a type of master class has everything you need to know about sewing with rayon all the precautions tons of little secrets that i do and you'll be really successful if you go and watch if you're still scared of rayon don't be it's a lovely fabric and really fresh and cool soft so i hope you start and try because it's such a lovely fabric type to wear and it's a shame if you're not sewing with it because it's so 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 comfortable and any garment you make is going to look so beautiful so drapey i mentioned the sizing was improved now it goes up to 5x it'll go up to a 57 and a half inch bust 59 and a half inch hip at the bust there's about three inches of ease, at the waist about four, at the hips about four. If you're doing the full bust option then you add two inches to all of these measurements that I've mentioned. For myself I've chosen a size extra large, there is a bust out there that I lowered but a tiny bit, three eighths of an inch, not much. It's fitting right like that. <laughs> and for the shirt, I made the original length. I think that length is fine for me. For the knee length dress, I always add a whopping three inches. It's quite a lot. If I made it the original length, it would be a mini dress on me just because I'm a little taller and my length is from the waist down sort of thing. Short dresses is not a type of garment I can wear or feel comfortable with. Above the knee, that's where I like it and I needed three extra inches for that. I added my own short and length line just below the fullest part of the hip just to continue that A-line shape there. 
super easy fitting adjustments. The first two versions I made were for my mom and myself. We did a sort of mother-daughter twinning type of situation. Lovely rayon twill. This is the heaviest type of rayon. Super drapey, lovely, wrinkles less, a little easier to work with than lighter weight rayon. And mom's version had a short sleeve, but I lengthened her sleeve because she wanted a little longer than what the pattern had. The length is really good for her. I think it fits amazing. She says it's one of her most comfortable woven tops. She's told me she loves the fit of the sleeve because she can move around really well. And this woven top has the feel of you wearing a t-shirt, like a knit garment but you're actually wearing something that's a little better because it's woven and it's nicer to look at, you know? My first version was a shift style dress, sleeveless option. I finished these necklines with binding instead of facings. Facings sometimes take up a lot of fabric and when you're working with limited amounts, like I was in that case, I wanted to prioritize getting both garments out of my fabric instead of cutting out facings. You can for sure finish the neckline with binding inside and it takes up way less fabric if you wanna make your own tape or I just use sometimes my own store-bought bias tape. I have, I have it by the yard, like rolls and rolls of it, and that works really well also. Around the same time, I made my mom the most beautiful, beautiful top in a white 100% cotton broidery and glaze. She was here visiting me in Brazil. She bought the fabric locally. It was super expensive, super expensive, and I just, pulled out all the stops to get it to match perfectly. I cut it cross grain so that the scallops on the selvage would be at the hem. So that gives it a really nice detail and I matched all the seams in the front, in the back. The type of embroidery we had here on the upper chest is the same on the sleeves. It was really time consuming to think about it and to cut it out, but then to sew it was absolutely fine. I'd already made her one, I knew it fit and she really treasures that top, it's really, really special. The next one I made was a refashion. I had a pink linen blouse that was a little larger, really shapeless, it had sleeves, so I just seam ripped those sleeves off. <laughs> I've used that fabric for other things. And I just kept the shoulder seams and the collar, the placket of the original blouse, extended it on the table, put my cadence pattern pieces on top, and then I got the beautiful shaping on the side with the basta, the side seam. So the shaping and, and everything is the cadence. It's just that I kept the original seams right here from the original shirt. And that was so, so fun to do. A great way to get a really nice shirt in a really nice fabric that I, sh that I thrifted to fit really nicely. I did not like how the original fit was really boxy. I just, I just did not like it. And you can use patterns to refashion things and resize them for sure. That was really fun. Then I went on a bonanza of the cadence for our Feature Friday event and I made four and that was so fun because I did hacks to some of them. I made one that was really basic. There was no hack there. It was just a sleeveless version. And the special thing about this one was the fabric. It was really heavyweight crepe, like bottom weight crepe. And I'd used it from a tiny, tiny scrap I had from a dress. I'd made years ago and it was just enough to cut it out. I finished the neckline and the armholes with bias tape. I did all that sewing inside by hand and also the hem because I know it would have looked horrible on this type of fabric. So it was a pretty lengthy process but the result is beautiful and I love that top, it's so pretty. The print on that black background is so, so lovely. I made a bright pink top also where I took the side basta and I closed it and swung the volume over here towards the shoulders. I brought this shoulder seam forward so that the gathers would be around here. I, should, I do show you how to do that little hack. It's so fun and that top is amazing. It matches my Allegro pants that have that pink tone in there with the black background. That one I made in a bubble crepe. Very nice, easy fabric to work with. It's not slippery. It's If you want to try crepe, try bubble crepe. It's not that smooth or soft to the touch but it's fine, it's just really easy to work with. And I made another one in a bubble crepe, this time with a print, black and white print. And here I just had fun, I just went for it and added a seam at the height of my waist at the back and then added like a peplum at the back with a few pleats, but only at the back. So at the front it looks like a regular top, but when you spin around you see all those lovely pleats on the back and that was really, really fun. And then I made this one, which is a dress, the same shift style dress I'd made previously but I added some waist ties there. They're just sewn onto the side seams. They aren't rectangles, they're shaped and they look really pretty. This is one of my favorite ones and the one I'm wearing today. Super comfy, it's a shift style dress like this so it's really nice and loose but it's got wide ties on the side seam that finish in a point and then you can get some shaping like that on the front if you tie it. I think it's really pretty. 
really flowy and one of my favorite hacks I've done which is a super simple hack to do but looks really amazing I love it this is a closer look at everything going on around here super simple just sew them into the side seams tie them up voila here is my modified cadence top 100% rayon just has modifications in the front with the pin tucks the back is the same I have the short sleeves from the pattern and this is the original length and up closer you can see the pin tuck details that come from above the bust I have a yoke that I just cut into the pattern and I have it double and I burritoed it so it's all enclosed inside and the pin tucks go from above the bust to around my waist just in the center of the front of the cadence you get a little bit extra ease around the hips because of this modification but i think it looks really pretty and it needs to be a flowing fabric this is the original scoop neckline of the cadence and i'm always a fan of the shoulders the sleeves fit really well and i'm very very happy this was so fun to sew summer i made two more tops for my mom here in brazil i can really find broderie and glaze in several colors I have access to that type of fabric, she has a hard time finding it in Chile so I bought some blue and some black fabric and took it over and made her tops over there she really wanted to have more after she loved that white one so much so this summer I made her two more I did the same thing, I washed the fabric really well made sure it had shrunk what it needed to and I just cut everything on the cross grain to make use of those scallops both for the sleeves here and for the bottom hem really pretty, more structured, she loves the style and she feels great in that and I think they look really good. The good, th the good thing is that the little openings there in the embroidery aren't that big so she can still just wear her bra underneath and not have to wear other types of layers which would get really hot in the summer. So those were really fun to make and yeah they sewed up so fast I don't need to do fitting it's just bang 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 a few seams, great. For those I also used bias tape that I made myself and my mum hand sewed on the inside. We really like that finish and my mum does excellent hand sewing. She doesn't know how to sew on the machine but she does excellent hand sewing so when she's here or when I'm there I'm really good at giving her tiny hand sewing stuff to do. She loves it and it just turns out amazing. Now I have number 12 which is the one I made yesterday and if you saw my masterclass on how to sew rayon you would have seen me cutting some beautiful textured sort of teal colored rayon with Swiss dot. Well tada here it is. <laughs> I'm so happy with it. So again I didn't have enough fabric to cut my facings. I basically had to choose if I wanted a three quarter length sleeve without the flare or with the flare and I really wanted to do the flare as you know these types of pieces are circles and they take quite a lot of fabric so it was either do the flare or do the facing guess what I chose <laughs> I finished with bias tape I made my own bias tape with the leftover pieces I had and it worked really well and it's very neat and it's perfectly acceptable don't think I haven't used the facing I have just wait a sec but this was perfect I mean it, there's nothing wrong with this neckline made with bias tape and then I got to have this beautiful detail. Now I mentioned a lot that with a lot of rayon that is printed, you have one side that is a lighter color and then you have your beautiful print. With that type of rayon, I wouldn't have made the flounce on the sleeve because when you wear it, you see the wrong side. When it drapes and it moves, this one does work. And there's no Swiss dots in there. It is the same color and it looks really nice. If I want to sew a flounce, I'm gonna look for a fabric that looks the same on both sides or similar like this one and it's so beautiful one piece that you cut on the fold and you have a seam under here that matches the seam of the sleeve right there I'll show you inside in a sec because I've done some French seams not because I wanted to or because I had to just because I didn't have matching serger thread and it really disturbs me when the serger thread doesn't match at all but it was so easy to sew these sleeves are really easy to set in there's not much extra ease around here so you don't have to be worried about getting packets or gathers or anything like that that is the center back seam right there which I always love this is the original length I have folded my hem up once and top stitched there is my bust dart it's really simple what makes it special is the texture of the rayon the, the flowiness and how it drapes and this this is nice what's good about this one is that it's three quarter length so it's not reaching right here where it's going to get in the way when you eat or do things it's for me it's like right there and it, I'm free I'm gonna have all this arm um, free to do things and I'm not gonna be staining myself and that sort of thing I have a linen skirt in this type of tone of color and I had very few things to wear with it just a little while ago saw this color fabric in a shop and I bought it straight away thinking 
I want to have a monochromatic look. That's why I've chosen this color, which is not typical for me. At the back, we have the French seams. Really neat. You know, you've seen that French seams are possible with 3-8 seam allowance. I just do the first pass at an eighth of an inch and the second pass at a quarter, and it works really well. I've got French seams on the side seams right here. For the seams of the sleeves, I also have French seams. What I did was sew my sleeve first, do the French seams, and then I sewed my flounce, that seam, did my French seams, and then I sewed them together on the round. I don't like having these sort of things sewn directly. I think it's really bulky there. I like it like this better. Now, if you can see, I have surged areas here on my sleeves and the piece that unites the flounce to the sleeve. Also at the hem, I didn't have matching serger thread at all. I, I knew I could do a trick. I had two spools of regular thread. I put some thread into bobbins. It, it, was, a, it was a hassle to get some of that color thread into four little things so I could put them on my serger. So I knew that I had to serge minimal seams. That's why I've only got the hem, this one, and the sleeve serged, and all the rest is French seamed. You know, for the, for the French seams, you don't need to serge, right? So that's how I went about finishing this one and it's so beautiful. Some of you told me you wanted to see my handbags because I sometimes mention I have a handbag that color. Look, I'm not a luxury type of handbag person. I just, I can't fathom, but I do like quality and I do like nice bags made out of leather. They are not luxury bags. In Brazil, there's a lot of really nice local brands that sell amazing leather handbags and those are the ones that I purchase. You're not looking at me spending hundreds of dollars on handbags, but what I do buy is really nice quality and I know it's gonna last for a long time. I have leather handbags that I've been using for over 20 years. So yeah, let's see this one on with the same type of skirt, shoes and handbag, all in the same sort of tone. <laughs> I love that flounce and I'm so glad I tried it. For this one, I had the vision in my mind that it was gonna be amazing. Partially due to the fabric choice, I know this fabric flows and drapes amazing and it was just gonna look really nice. I just, yeah, I wanted to try it. I think this is the first time I've sewn a type of flounce on a sleeve like this. I typically just sew sleeveless or just regular, but I'm so glad I tried that feature and it's beautiful, it's really pretty. So cadence number 13 is the one I'm gonna show you now. I made a video recently where I shared a small fabric coat of rayon and I went over all the woven patterns at Love Notions and how those can be sewn with rayon. I showed all the examples. I do sew with rayon a lot and I have made most of the woven patterns with rayon. And there I showed you a fabric that I was gonna make into a cadence dress and I have. It's hard to see, but you can see I've done the scoop neck with the notch collar option right there. For this one, you have to do the facing. So this is actually the first time I've sewn the facing on the cadence. All the other ones have always been finished with bias tape. 
Fortunately, with this one, I had a lot of fabric. I wasn't worried about not having enough fabric, so I was able to cut my pieces comfortably. Look at the fabric, it's so beautiful. This is lightweight rayon, doesn't have any texture, nothing like that, just a really pretty print with red little flowers. I think those are the ones that stand out the most. With this one, you have the wrong side of the fabric that is very noticeably different. So I wouldn't have wanted to do the flounces with a fabric like this. This was a delight to sew. That is so beautiful, it's so nice. And then I chose the long sleeve, it's a bishop sleeve. It's got a little casing in there with an elastic. Whenever I do these types of elastics, I make sure to have the elastic be wider than my actual wrist so that it's not tight. I would really dislike having anything tight there. So if it's just like skimming my skin, then I'm perfectly fine. In other opportunities when I've had more time, I've actually drafted a cuff, a tiny cuff, and gathered it into the cuff instead of doing the casing with elastic. So from the far away, it looks sort of the same. This time I did not have extra hours to do that. So I just did my elastic casing and it worked out really, really well. I added one inch of length to the sleeve. That's all I did to make sure it was gonna be long enough. For this one, all the edges have been surged inside. There's no special seams going on with this one. <laughs> I had enough black serger thread. And same fit, everything the same. They are different pattern pieces if you sew the maxi, the knee length, and the shirt. They're not just, they're not the same pattern piece with different cut lines. They are actually different pattern pieces. This one is above my knee. There is a slit feature on the side, which I didn't do with this one because the fabric is different also. I don't really do features that are gonna show the wrong side of the fabric when I walk when I have fabric like this. So I just folded that paper away and just did my side seam as per usual. As you know, I block fused my facings as always to get a really neat result. The facings are quite nice and large. That's how the facing looks inside. I don't have black interfacing at the moment. I have to order some, so it's white. And look what I've done with the front neckline. I've also added quite a chunk of interfacing to the main front, including the little V notched area. I wanted that to stay up and in my rayon video I mentioned that sometimes features like this don't hold up with rayon because rayon just doesn't have any structure but you can add structure to rayon with interfacing so that's what I've done in there. You can see there's a huge chunk of interfacing on the main and don't worry it doesn't look ugly it's covered it's fine and I've tucked it down here at the shoulder seams right there right there and also I've tucked it down by hand on the center back seam. Otherwise, it's just loose in there and it's not flipping over. It's still nice and flat. It's staying inside. It's been understitched all the way around and it was really nice. I don't dislike facings, but I will gladly just swap the finish technique if I don't have enough fabric for sure. I've also been known to make facings with other fabrics that match. In my teal version, I had nothing that would match and to make a facing out of something else would have looked horrendous. Plus this fabric is really lightweight and a little bit she, I think you would have seen through it. So just think about those things, <laughs> I do. And this one can be worn just on its own, really comfy, flowy, if you wanna eat and be comfy, wear it on its own. I would also like to wear it with a belt, it just depends on my mood. Definitely if I'm wearing a jacket over it, I would wear it with a belt just to give myself some shape underneath the jacket. But if I was wearing it on its own, then I would wear it just as, as it is or with a belt, that would depend on my mood. <laughs> anyway, let's see this one on. No handbag, just little heels. I love the look, I love the color. I think it's a classic and I'm gonna love it for a very long time.
Remember the cadence is $5 today. That is a huge discount from the original price, so it's a good time to get it. Remember that today also is the last day of the huge site-wide sale that is 40% off. It excludes Aria. All the other patterns, you can get them for a lot less. I will link all my cadence content down below. I wish I'd had time to make a blog post because there's so many of them to see, but I'll link a playlist down below from all the cadence patterns I made. There you'll see all the sewing, the hacks, everything. Very complete for you to see. And I'm happy to have made two more using features that I hadn't made before, like the flounce, that notch type of scoop neckline with the facing. That was really nice to do and I really enjoyed it. I know this is a pattern I want to make a lot more. That's all from me today. Have a lovely weekend and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.